Hey Central Life, it's great joining you all the way from South Africa. For those who don't know me yet, my name is Marnes Skuman and my wife Leandra and I look forward to joining you soon in the future. 1 Timothy 4, 12 and 13 is a great passage of scripture and was especially to me when I was a young believer. It's where Paul encourages Timothy and he says to him, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example. The message goes even further and says, Be an example with your life. Now we saw that Timothy went out and he changed the world exactly like Paul did. But we must not forget the role that Paul played. He was so, such a great leader, a mentor, somebody that encouraged Timothy. He was a father figure to him. And what an example for us today as leaders in the church and also as parents with our young children to educate them in the Word of God and grow them up to go and change the world in ways that we couldn't. The other day we had two orphan boys running up to our car as we stopped at a traffic light and they asked us for food and money and you know what in South Africa we have a population of about 50 million people and over 2 million of those are AIDS orphans children who don't have any parents who can show them the ways of life and the question came up do we take just the everyday blessing and privilege of growing up in a western world for granted the resources and tools we have at our, at our disposal. Just the fact that we have a Bible we can read and teach our children from the Bible. Uh, it's such great things to have and what a blessing and what a privilege. You know, some parents get up here at 3, 4 o'clock in the mornings to walk to work and get there in time. And then they walk back in the evenings to get home. And they don't get any time to spend with their children. Let's not waste the great opportunity we do have to impact our children's lives for Jesus Christ. Let's be like Paul. Let's be an example like he was to Timothy for our children today and watch them, through our example, go out and change the world for Jesus.